If you want to find out how I'm doing on my 10 uses project, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elan, and yes, it's another update to the 10 uses project. If you are not familiar with the 10 uses project, it is a project that I am doing um, along with other folks. It was created by Paula, and Paula is AKA a beauty guru made me do it. And I asked if I could jump on board, and she said, of course, no problem, for which I am so grateful. And what I've been doing is every month giving you an update on using 10 different products for 10 uses. So as soon as I have done 10 uses on a given product, it rolls out and I roll something else in. And I do have quite a few changes in products this time around, so it makes this update really, really exciting. And I'm excited both to tell you what I'm moving out, but I'm also excited about a lot of the products coming in. So this should be a lot of fun. The oldest product in this project, and I'm happy to report that I have finished 10 uses on, is this Origins Clear Improvements Mask. I am not a mask person, and I did manage to finish this one, and I think I surpassed, yes I did, I actually used this 11 times. There was one last use in this tube beyond the 10 uses, and of course I just finished it, so this was in my last empties. If you watch my empties videos, you would have seen uh, this one in the latest one. I'm happy it's gone. I got it as part of a set, and like I said, I'm not a mask person, but when I get some as part of, of sets, I think it's important for me to use it and at least let you know what I think of it. And um, it's, not, it's not an uncomfortable mask in that it's not a peel off mask. You let it dry and then you wipe it off. So it was not as annoying as some other masks that I have uh, tried on this channel. So would I recommend, I'm not a mask person. So I'm probably not the best person to ask. The only thing I can say is it was not painful to remove. That's it. And I don't have poor issues. And so kind of a clearing mask, I don't really need some, for this mask at least, I'm really not a great person to ask. But it's done and for that I am very, very grateful. Second oldest in this whole thing is this marvelous, uh, no, Worldly Mauve. Yes, I want to say Marvelous Mauve. Worldly Mauve 904 by Makeup Forever. And I have worn this one a few times since the last time I had an update on it. But I do find that I only can use purple on my uh, lash line once in a while. It can also act as, well, anywhere on the face, including uh, lips, but it's not a color I find very fetching on my lips, so I tend to avoid that. But since the last update, I did end up using it two times. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's going to stay in this project, and I still have five uses. So I am halfway to the finish line with this particular product. Next up after Worldly Mauve is this Urban Decay single called Relish. And it is a beautiful color that looks uh, great on my eyes with uh, green eyes. It does help to have this type of color on the lid. But I had a number of reddish brown and reddish or fuchsia type colors to try over the last month or so. And so I did not use this one at all. In total, over two months, I've only used this three times, but I will keep it in the project and whenever I use it, I use it. I find it a lot tougher to use color products in this type of project, but since I usually get 10 uses out of a lot of other products, I don't mind having a few color products to kind of slug my way through. So um, yeah, we'll leave it in. Next, we have a few products where I am happy to say I am done with my 10 uses. One of them is this Makeup Forever Artist One. And I mostly used the top row, but I also used, hopefully you can see the colors, but I also used the middle row for a look as well. And so yes, I have used this over 10 times actually. And it took me two months. Basically half the usage happened last month and half the usage happened this month. But I'm really happy to have done my 10 uses and to be able to move on from this palette. I tended to use this palette as an inner corner highlight and a, as a brow bone highlight. And a few times 
I did use the, the deeper colors as an um, inner to center lid type of a, a nice um, shimmery or metallic color. I don't mind this palette at all. It tends to be an accent palette for me though, um, as I mentioned, brow bone, that kind of thing, because it's uh, neutral enough that it'll go pretty much with any look. So it's a nice go-to palette for that purpose. And another product that came in two months ago as well is this Benefit High Brow product. I have been more consistent using it very recently actually. Um, and I'm pretty happy to have uh, put it in this project because it's coming back into my rotation as a product I'm using on a regular basis. And that was the reason that I put it into this project. And I really do like it as a brow bone accent that I then set with some sort of a, a shimmery shadow. So yeah, I do like this product. I just wasn't using it for some reason. And on another note for the highbrow, interestingly enough, last period I didn't use it at all and all of my usage was this period I kept forgetting about it and in this last month I put it front and center to remind myself oh yeah this isn't a project and you need to use it and now it's just I, I well exceeded the 10 uses and it's just become part of my habits which is what I was expecting and hoping for to begin with so I'm super happy about that and now for the products that I brought in last month and last month, this is a product that I brought in just because it's been hanging around for a long time. And I think because it's a small bottle, I just really wasn't using it. And I actually brought this in with a sister product, which is the Living Proof um, Dry Shampoo. And I only had one use of that one. It was in my empties last month. And now I just have this one, but they were basically kind of both together because the Living Proof I knew that I was almost done with. And I have actually used this in my hair today and I've used it a total of three times now, including today. And I can tell I'm about halfway through. So next update, this should be um, done uh, in my 10 uses. I did not think when I put it in that I would have 10 uses, but I'll just use it until it's done. I don't mind it. I don't mind the smell. I don't mind what it does to my hair. And so I have no problem continuing on and finishing it up. Next up is a product that I am having trouble using a whole lot. I tend to keep going back to my BB cream, but I have used it more recently than I thought I would. And I did end up using it three times, which is not so bad. I, I thought if I get a couple of times, I'll be happy and I got three. And I'm not counting when I do little bits of touch up with it. I'm counting it as when I do my full face. And I like the product, I really, really do. Um, and so my extra usage of it was to fix around my mouth if I'm changing my lipstick, but to me it's not really a full application of it, so I'm not counting that. But the emblem, there's a, a V that was in this uh, pan when I started using it, it's completely gone. So when I am using it for foundation purposes, I'm doing a pretty good job. And then I'm using this sponge when I'm doing that around my mouth uh, lip work that I was telling you about. Otherwise, I'm using a foundation brush uh, to apply this so that I can get that, that nice um, opacity that you want when you're using a powder foundation. So far, I really like the product. I've just been using BB creams and cream foundations for so long that it's, it's just not a habit to use powder at this point but I will keep it in the project and really do want to finish my 10 uses. So it's gonna stick around for a while. And a product that I've used just a little bit more than the Vichy foundation is this Colored Rain Lavender Dreams. And I'm so happy this is in the 10 uses project. I am at four uses right now. And I'm, like I said, I'm so happy it's in the project. And the reason is it is a beautiful, beautiful product. The color is absolutely gorgeous. And I love wearing it as a highlighter, as a brow bone highlighter, and also as an inner to center lid color. It has an iridescence from purple to peachy to hot pink, depending on how you look at it. And it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm so happy that, like I said, it's in the project because when I got this in a colored rain mystery box, I thought, what the heck am I going to do with this? And as it turns out, I really, really like the color. So yeah, 
what a fantastic way to discover just how much I like this product as opposed to letting it sit there unused for who knows how long. So really happy. I've got four uses so far and I might just have it done by the next update. I'm liking it that much. Now, two more products that came into the project this past month. One of them is this Dylan Blue Perfume, and I think you can tell that I've used it. This was brand new when I started the project, and um, so I've used it quite a bit. And I use it morning and night, and I really enjoy it. The only time that I was not using it was if I had just put on Boom Boom Cream after the shower. I didn't want the two scents to conflict, but that just isn't enough of an impediment for me not to be able to end up using this 10 times. I, I used it for sure over 20 times this month, but I stopped counting at 10. It's an okay perfume. I would definitely not go out and buy it. It's to me, for my preferences, it's just okay. So I'm glad it's in my collection. I'll keep using it. There's no problem with it. It's just not one that I would consider as a special occasion, go-to kind of perfume. It's okay. So happy to discover what I think of it, and I'm happy also to move it along and try something else. And we finish my updates on another high point, and this is the Smoky Plum from Elizabeth Arden. And I signed up to use this product 10 times and to decide whether or not I like it. And as it turns out, I quite like it. So I am going to uh, keep it and I'm going to focus on using it from time to time because it is an older lipstick in my collection and I would like to get as much use out of it as I can before it goes bad on me. It's uh, less than two years old, but I can just tell it's getting a little bit up there in age and would like to get more use out of it. So I'm just going to keep it out on my vanity and uh, use it whenever a kind of a pinky plum uh, is warranted. Pinky plum? No, more of a more of a uh, brownie plum is warranted for a look that will be my go-to uh, lipstick at least for a while until it's time to let it go if we count down everything i finished we have five products we have the makeup forever artist one palette the elizabeth arden lipstick i just talked about the dylan blue which i just talked about as well the benefit highbrow and the origins clear improvement mask so five new products are coming into this project. Three of them are skincare. One of them is a perfume and one of them is a makeup product. So let's take a look at them. Let's go for, through skincare first. So I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. So a cream moisturizer for the body. I would just like to use this moisturizer and uh, use it up. It's been hanging around for quite a long time. It's fragrance free. So I don't think I'll have any sort of issues uh, using it. And I probably can mix it uh, along with my Boom Boom Cream to um, just make that cream uh, last a little bit longer. So looking forward to using that. Next, I have this Biosense um, Serum. This is Squalane and Phyto Retinol. So I'm going to use this as opposed to my Neutrogena Retinol Oil as a retinol product and I, it's a sample for milk, should last me a while and looking forward to using that and I'll probably finish it for the next update and be able to let you know what I think of it. And a third product that I will be trying and it is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops that evens tone and texture and leaves a dewy glow according to their claims. So I will probably use one of these in the morning and this one in the morning and then the other, the Biosense, more of an evening product so that, that I don't use both at the same time because I, su I suspect that it would be a little bit brutal to my skin to use it uh, both um, at the same time of day. But uh, two pretty significant skincare products and then a nice Easygoing Neutrogena cream should be three skincare products that will play nice together and that I can try all at once. Now I mentioned there was a perfume and it is going to be the another Versace perfume and it is the Bright Crystal. Yes, Bright Crystal perfume. And I don't even remember smelling this one, so let's take a look at it. 
I might, I might like it more than the Dylan Blue. I'm not sure, but um, I will give it a go and try to use it 10 times and see what I think. And finally, I kept the best for last as far as from my perspective, as far as the new 10 uses product. And it is this Marcel bronzer. And I have been sheepish about using this bronzer for some reason. And it has a beautiful, huge mirror. And look at this thing, it is beautiful. I have done nothing but just swatch it once. And it's gorgeous. So I really want to use it this uh, this spring summer. And it's nice because it has a deeper gradient at the top and a very light gradient at the bottom. So depending on the intensity of your look or the intensity of the amount of um, sun that your skin has had, you can kind of direct your brush one way or the other. So I'm really excited to give this bronzer a shot. And it's a Canadian company to boot. So I love to try Canadian products and cannot wait to let you know what I think after having used it 10 times. So that is it. An update on 10 products, five finished, five new ones coming in. I would call this past month a great success. And I look forward to updating you next month. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the progress for this past month. I would love to hear from you. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.